Have you ever considered the power and importance of ice in our world? A simple question, yet it opens the door to a world of fascinating insights and paradoxes. Let's start with the basics. What is ice? At its simplest, ice is just water in its solid state, but it's not as straightforward as it seems. See, water molecules slow down as they cool, and at zero degrees Celsius, they arrange themselves into a hexagonal pattern, creating what we know as ice. But the story of ice is more than just a science lesson. It's a tale of survival and balance. Ice, in its various forms, plays a critical role in the health and functioning of our planet. It covers roughly 10% of the Earth's land surface in the form of glaciers, ice caps, and ice sheets. Ice's significance goes beyond its cold touch. It reflects sunlight back into space, helping to cool our planet. This reflective property, known as albedo, is a crucial component of the Earth's climate. Without ice, our world would absorb more heat, leading to a much warmer climate. Ice also serves as a massive freshwater reservoir. It locks away about three quarters of the world's fresh water, releasing it slowly over time through melting. This steady supply of water is vital for many ecosystems and human communities. But ice isn't just a static, unchanging entity, it's dynamic and responsive. Changes in the Earth's temperature cause ice to melt and freeze, influencing global climate patterns. This interplay between ice and temperature is part of what scientists call the ice albedo feedback mechanism. When ice melts, it exposes darker surfaces that absorb more sunlight, which in turn causes more melting. This cycle can accelerate global warming, making the study of ice crucial in understanding climate change. Ice is a paradox. It's fragile yet resilient, simple yet complex, beautiful yet potentially devastating. It's an integral part of our world that we often take for granted. Now that we've understood the importance of ice, let's transport ourselves to the coldest places on Earth. Can you guess the coldest place on Earth? A question that might send shivers down your spine, but let's dive in. The coldest corners of our planet are not for the faint-hearted. We're talking about places like Vostok Station in Antarctica, where the temperature once plummeted to a bone-chilling minus 128.6 degrees Fahrenheit. Or consider the frosty realms of Oymyakon and Verkoyansk in Russia, where temperature can nosedive to minus 90 degrees Fahrenheit. These places hold the record for the lowest temperatures ever recorded in the Northern Hemisphere. But where are these places exactly? Picture the globe in your mind. Vostok Station is located at the heart of East Antarctica, while Oymyakon and Verkoyansk are nestled deep within the Siberian wilderness. Can anything survive in such icy conditions? You may be surprised to learn that despite these extreme temperatures, life does find a way. In such extreme conditions, one might wonder, is it possible for life to thrive? Life in the ice? Yes, it's real. In the coldest corners of our world, a myriad of creatures has adapted to the freezing conditions. From the sturdy musk oxen of the Arctic, insulated by their thick coats, to the tiny ice worms that thrive in glacial environments, life finds a way. Even beneath the Antarctic ice in the pitch dark, microscopic organisms flourish. These creatures have learned to survive, even thrive, despite the harsh cold. Ice isn't just a challenge for life, it's also a threat to our planet. Ice, a sleeping giant that could awaken at any moment. As the world warms, ice caps and glaciers melt, causing sea levels to rise. But what happens when the ice melts too quickly? Our coastlines could disappear, engulfing cities and displacing millions. The consequences for human civilization are profound. From flooding to extreme weather, the ripple effects of melting ice extend far beyond the polar regions. Ice, as we've learned, is far more than just a chilly substance. It forms the lifeblood of our world, and its fate is intertwined with ours.